Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Muir, and today's soldering tip will be on tip maintenance. We have to maintain our tips for long periods of time because of the cost of some of these tips have become very expensive. So we want to make sure that we maintain them and take good care of them throughout their life. Some of the tips that I have have been in and around here for a long time. This is the one here that I'm rolling is a Metcal tip, chisel tip, STTC 138. And this tipper has been around since 7293. That, so if you maintain your tips in proper working condition throughout their life cycle, they can last for a long period of time. And this tip is still being used in our training facility and you can still see it looks really nice. One of the things that I do on my daily tip cleaning care is to clean the handpiece and tip gently with non-abrasive materials like a sponge. Okay, And then when I'm done soldering I apply a gentle amount of solder to the tenable surfaces each time after the use. What this does is protects the tip from oxidization and again prolongs the life of the tip. Like I said I just showed you a tip that we have had in our facility since 1997. And when making a solder connection, thermoshock tip with a damp sponge, then apply solder to the connection area. Do not apply the solder directly to the iron tip. And do, do not use excessive pressure to this connection. This usually causes damage to the tip. It could damage the plating on the exterior of it. So be gentle with that. Or you could create a tip something like this. And that tip there should actually look like this. But you can see where we've had some students that have actually been putting pressure when they've been soldering. So you can see how they bend real easy. And what this will do, it will actually fracture the plating in it. So then this tip will be inoperative. Okay. Okay. The first thing I do is I dampen a sponge. And here's my little sponge. It comes with a nice little cleaning uh, handpiece holder. When I'm cleaning, is I gently wipe it into the center of the hole just like this. That puts all the solder into the center of the hole with no problems and so when I go to the outer edge and finish cleaning it. And again I got it almost parallel to the top of the sponge. That way it's not being pulled out when you're... Uh, now one of the things that I want to make sure is on the outer don't edge or it will look something like this sponge. And if you also look at this sponge how dirty it is. Contaminants also because this can get embedded into the end of your tip. So watch out for that. So that we don't want to use that type of sponge. We always want to make sure it's nice and clean. Should you change these? Well, it depends on what usage. In other words, how much you're using it. Are you using it every day? Are you using it once a week, twice a week, whatever? Another thing is when you're done soldering is to always put solder back on the end of that tip. That prevents oxidization. Okay, so you can see I put it all the way around it. And then I'm going to put it back into its nice little holder. Okay. One of the things I want to talk about also on tip maintenance, don't use them as a pry bar, or they can look like this one right here. Okay. And if you don't clean your tips, or if you don't put solder back on them after a long period of time, this can actually occur. If you look like look in there, you can see where it has eroded. This is actually a tip that was here that uh, was not maintained properly, and you can see right along here where it has eroded all the way through. Okay, so you got to watch out for that. Another thing to help prevent you from doing any damage to your tips is something very easy and simple to use. Any time you're changing out a tip to prevent you from getting burned, but also prevent you from doing any damage to the plating on these tips, is to use these nice little heat resistive pads. And you can grab an 800 degree tip with these and change it out real quickly and not burn your fingers or anything like that. You could actually like damage the plating. You could actually fracture it. So I don't recommend that you use, uh, when you're changing your tips or anything, to use anything metal whatsoever. And if you use anything metal what happens it, if the tip oxidizes? down some flux. And I've got here's an RMA flux. Okay. Turn on your iron. Let it get hot. It only takes a few seconds for some of these tips, like I said. Just grab a brass brush. It's not going to hurt you. See, I'm rubbing it with my fingers. Okay, really nice to work with. It keeps you from doing any damage. Again, clean off any excess solder before you do this. 
I cleaned it off into the center of the hole. Now the next thing I'll do is come in here with a brass brush in a downward motion is to come in here and clean it all the way around. Okay, and if it still won't take solder, what I'll do is I'll dip it into the flux and then be start adding solder while I'm doing that and a lot of times it'll bring it back to life. See how easy that is to do? And there's nothing to it. Okay, so that's how I would maintain my tips at all times.